By the end of this century, rising sea levels could threaten the existence of many Philippine cities, with some areas already facing significant risks. From Manila's bustling streets to Roxas City's coastal shores, these places are integral to Filipino life, serving as economic hubs and cultural treasures. As of August 2025, the Philippines is on the front lines of climate change, with sea levels rising three times faster than the global average in some regions. According to Climate Central, the country is hit by an average of 20 typhoons each year, as reported by Pagasa, exacerbating flooding in cities like Manila, which is sinking due to land subsidence from groundwater extraction. Navotas, known as the fishing capital, is losing its coastline to rising tides, while Malabon faces regular flooding from high tides. This crisis could displace millions, straining resources and sparking migration debates with geopolitical implications, particularly for the United States, where a significant Filipino diaspora resides. For instance, Filipino communities in California and Hawaii could see increased migration pressures. While U.S. cities like Miami also face flooding risks, the Philippines' limited resources make its situation more urgent. Understanding this crisis is crucial for advocating solutions that could mitigate impacts and preserve these vital communities for future generations. Number 1. Manila. Manila, the beating heart of the Philippines, is home to 1.8 million people and contributes 35% to the national economy, per the World Bank. But it's sinking, fast. Land subsidence from groundwater extraction, combined with a 60 centimeter sea level rise, makes parts like Tondo and Baseco flood prone, as noted by Climate Central. Typhoons like Ondoy in 2009 showed Manila's vulnerability, flooding 80% of the city. Geopolitically, Manila's struggles could disrupt trade and migration, affecting U.S. Filipino communities. Residents like Maria, a street vendor, face daily floods that threaten her livelihood. Solutions like seawalls are underway, but time is short. Number 2. Navotas. Navotas, dubbed the fishing capital, relies on its coastal waters for survival. Yet, its low-lying areas are inundated during high tides, worsened by a 4-centimeter annual subsidence rate, per a 2019 NDTV report. With 250,000 residents, the city faces economic collapse as fishing grounds shrink. The U.S., with its Filipino diaspora, may see increased migration if Navotas becomes unlivable. Local fisherman Juan shared, The sea used to feed us, now it takes our homes. Adaptation efforts, like mangrove restoration, are critical but underfunded. Number 3. Malabon Malabon's rich history is under threat as it sinks faster than most, with groundwater extraction causing a 5 centimeter annual drop, per a 2024 UP study. Floods now reach homes even without storms, impacting 400,000 residents. This mirrors challenges in U.S. cities like New Orleans, where subsidence also amplifies flooding. Geopolitically, displacement could strain regional stability. Community leader Anna says, We're fighting to stay, but the water keeps coming. Flood barriers are proposed, but costs are steep. Number 4. Pasig Pasig, a commercial hub, faces flooding along the Marikina River, which burst its banks in 2025 per ABS-CBN. With 800,000 residents, the city's economy is at risk. The U.S. faces similar riverine flooding in places like Houston, highlighting shared vulnerabilities. Migration from Pasig could impact U.S. diaspora communities. Local business owner Carlo laments, Floods ruin my shop yearly. Improved drainage systems are needed but lag behind. Number 5. Calucan. Calucan's 1.6 million residents face frequent floods due to its low elevation and poor drainage, as seen during 2025's tropical storm Wifa, per Philstar. This urban sprawl mirrors U.S. cities like Jacksonville, where flooding disrupts lives. Geopolitical tensions may rise as displaced residents seek refuge. Teacher Sarah says, My students can't learn when schools flood. Upgrading infrastructure is urgent but costly. Number 6. Taguig. Taguig, a financial district, is at risk from rising Laguna de Bay waters, per a 2023 Climate Central study. With 900,000 residents, 
Flooding threatens skyscrapers and slums alike. The U.S.'s Miami faces similar coastal risks, showing global parallels. Migration could strain U.S. Philippine relations. Resident Miguel notes, even the rich can't escape the floods. Sea walls are planned but face delays. Number 7. Marikina. Marikina, known for its shoe industry, saw its river reach 18 meters during 2025 floods, per ABC News. Half its land is flood-prone, impacting 450,000 people. Like Sacramento in the U.S., river flooding is a shared challenge. Displacement could affect Filipino communities abroad. Artisan Lita says, My workshop drowned last year. Flood control projects are underway but incomplete. Number 8. Quezon City Quezon City, with 3 million residents, faces flash floods from poor urban planning, as seen in 2025's WIFA aftermath, per Al Jazeera. Similar to Los Angeles, sprawl amplifies risks. Migration could impact U.S. cities with Filipino populations. Nurse Rosa shares, hospitals overflow during floods. Better urban management is critical. Number 9. Bulacan Bulacan's coastal areas are sinking due to groundwater overuse, per a 2024 UP study, threatening 1.2 million residents. Like Florida's coast, subsidence is a global issue. Migration could strain U.S. relations. Farmer Jose says, My fields are salting up. Relocation plans are in discussion but slow. Number 10. Pampanga Pampanga's lowlands flood regularly, as seen in 2025's monsoon, per Philstar. With 2.2 million residents, agriculture is at risk. The U.S. as Gulf Coast faces similar issues. Geopolitical impacts include food security concerns. Fisherman Pedro notes, The river takes our nets. Dikes are proposed but underfunded. Number 11. Bataan. Bataan's coastal communities face storm surges, per a 2023 UNICEF report, impacting 500,000 people. Like Louisiana, storm risks are high. Migration could affect U.S. diaspora ties. Resident Clara says, Typhoons destroy our homes yearly. Mangrove restoration is a potential solution. Number 12. Cavite. Cavite's 4 million residents face flooding from rising Manila Bay waters, per Greenpeace 2021. Similar to Tampa, coastal risks are growing. Migration could impact U.S. communities. Vendor Luce shares, Floods ruin my market stall. Sea walls are planned but face budget issues. Number 13. Rizal. Rizal's proximity to Marikina River makes it flood-prone, as seen in 2025, per ABS-CBN. With 3.2 million residents, urban sprawl worsens risks. Like Houston, Drainage is a challenge. Migration could strain U.S. ties. Teacher Elena says, Floods disrupt classes. Improved drainage is needed. Number 14. Iloilo. Iloilo, a cultural hub, faces coastal flooding, per a 2024 UP study, impacting 500,000 residents. Like Charleston, U.S., heritage sites are at risk. Displacement could affect diaspora communities. Artist Juanita notes, Floods threaten our murals. Sea barriers are proposed but slow. Number 15. Davao. Davao's bay is rising 24 samurais, per A 2017 corrective report, threatening 1.8 million residents. Like Miami, coastal erosion is a concern. Migration could impact U.S. relations. Fisherman Rico says, the sea is eating our shore. Relocation is discussed but controversial. Number 16. Butuan. Butuan's low-lying areas flood frequently, per a 2018 Gulf News report, affecting 350,000 people. Like New Orleans, subsidence is a factor. Migration could strain U.S. ties. Farmer Maria shares, my crops drown yearly. Flood control is underfunded. Number 17. Cotabato. Cotabato, per a 2023 Climate Central study, faces submersion risks, impacting 300,000 residents. Like Galveston, coastal flooding is a threat. Migration could affect U.S. communities. 
Vendor Alley says, Floods ruin my stall. Dikes are planned but delayed. Number 18, Legaspi. Legaspi's 30 centimeter sea level rise, per Corrective 2017, threatens 200,000 residents. Like Norfolk, US, coastal risks are high. Migration could impact diaspora ties. Resident Anna notes, Typhoons flood our homes. Mangrove projects are proposed. Number 19, Cebu. Cebu's metro area faces flooding, per A2024 UP study, impacting 1 million residents. Like Jacksonville, urban sprawl worsens risks. Migration could strain U.S. relations. Nurse Carla says, floods overwhelm hospitals. Drainage upgrades are needed. Number 20, Roxas City. Roxas City's coastal areas are at risk per a 2023 Climate Central study, affecting 170,000 residents. Like Savannah, flooding is frequent. Migration could impact U.S. ties. Fisherman Jose shares, the sea takes our boats. Sea walls are under consideration. These 20 cities aren't just names, they're the soul of the Philippines, from Manila's crowded streets to Roxas City's quiet shores. Climate change is no longer a distant threat. It's reshaping lives today. The World Bank estimates that 14% of Filipinos could be affected by storm surges, and with 60% of the nation's land at risk, the clock is ticking. In the U.S., cities like Miami and New Orleans face similar battles, but the Philippines' limited resources make the fight tougher. This crisis could displace millions, sending ripples to Filipino communities abroad and challenging global cooperation. What would you do if your home was next? Would you stay and rebuild or seek a new start? The world is watching, and the choices we make now will shape our future. This isn't just about saving cities. It's about preserving cultures, economies, and dreams. For Filipinos and Americans alike, these aren't distant headlines. They're stories of resilience and urgency that hit close to home. Share your thoughts in the comments. How should the Philippines and the world respond? If this video opened your eyes, pass it on to one curious friend. Your support keeps these stories alive, so hit subscribe for more deep dives into the issues shaping our world.